Perhaps like many people, you've dreamed of flying like a bird, extending wings and gracefully gliding through the sky. But how about flying like a fly? Being a buzzing insect may not sound quite as appealing as a soaring eagle, but it probably would have been a dream for the researchers studying how insect flights work. After all, it had been a long-standing mystery until now. Here to tell us more is science specialist, specialist Darius Madavi. Darius, why has this puzzled scientists for so long? Yeah, it seems like it should be straightforward, right? I mean, a fly flaps its wings fast enough, and it lifts off. Easy peasy. Uh, but as you'll know if you've ever tried to hit one with a fly swatter, flies are capable of some pretty incredible aerial acrobatics. When it comes to agility in the air, no bird or bat can compete with a fruit fly. And unlike birds or bats or pterosaurs, which just took an evolutionary shortcut by adapting their forelegs into wings, insects did it the hard way. They evolved the wing basically from scratch de novo. So we don't really know where the wings came from, where the muscles that control the wings came from, where the parts of the nervous system that control those muscles came from. It's really a case of one of the most extraordinary um, novelties in, in, in sort of the history of life. This is the marvel of evolution Dickinson was talking about, the fruit fly wing hinge, an incredibly complex system of interconnected parts, including muscles and those small hard structures called sclerites. So picture a tiny fruit fly beating its wings over 200 times per second, and imagine trying to track that complex system of muscles controlling the wing hinge, moving the wings with such precision that the fly can dodge your swats. So buckle up, Dan, mm -hmm. because this study has it all. Gene editing, AI, robotics, infrared cameras, even an insect flight simulator. I can't wait. So you are promising a lot here. Where can we begin? I think we should start with the flies themselves. Now, you wouldn't find these flies in your kitchen. They were genetically modified so their muscles glow when they contract or fire which allowed researchers to track which muscles were firing at different times. You can see that glowing guy here. Now, those special flies were glued to a stick and put into a flight simulator. What we're looking at is an older version, but same idea. It's essentially a video game for flies with flashing lights they can steer toward. Now, while in the simulator, infrared cameras recording at 15,000 frames per second captured every glowing muscle and movement of the wings. In the end, researchers recorded 72,000 individual wing beats. And then they had everything they needed to train an AI. You have your input, what the muscles were firing, uh, what muscles were firing at a given time, and your output, the movement of the wings, and ta-da, your simulation. Uh, but the simulation alone couldn't tell us whether those muscle actions would translate to the ability to dodge a fly swatter in real life. So you have the robo wing, which you can see here. You submerge it in oil and you deck it out with sensors, and the robo wing showed that the researcher's AI model could actually simulate real life insect flight. And there you have it, Dan. It mm -hmm. only took six years. Easy peasy. <laughs> so this sounds like a very busy six years. What comes next for this? Yeah, well, this is a breakthrough, but it's also a first step. Uh, Dickinson told me they're hoping to start building a massive database of these photos and this data and build even more complex models of the wing because they've really only scratched the surface when it comes to understanding what's really going on here. And remember, this is only one species of fly they looked at. There are so many insects out there to analyze. And you might ask, why is it important to study the biomechanics of insect flight? Well, according to Dickinson, it might just be our best bet at understanding one of the most important breakthroughs evolution ever made. I think life on Earth would be very different if insects had never evolved flight. I, I guarantee there would be no humans, you know, working um, for television programs, interviewing scientists, um, because we'd probably not have flowering plants because that's also what insects do, uh, carrying pollen around. So I think if you look at the history of life, at least the history of life on land, it's hard to find something as important as the evolution of flight. It's not just that insects were important either. Uh, sure, this may sound like just a fun project that a team of lovable and insect-loving scientists took on, but insects...